are you doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform your old shirt into a one shoulder top. If you're gonna make this top, feel free to share yours via Instagram or Twitter. You can tag or DM me and let me know what you think of this DIY in the comments. These are the materials that you will need. Now let's begin. Start by laying your shirt on a flat surface and make it wrinkle free with your hands. Then cut a new neckline, starting underneath the armhole till the neckline of the top. You can draw it out if you don't want to make that commitment yet. Try it on to see if you're happy with the cut, otherwise reshape the neckline if necessary. While trying on the shirt, I marked it with a pin where I wanted to shorten the length in order to make a crop top. Then I made a straight cut across the shirt like so. As you can see, I'm using the stripes as a guide to cut straight. If your shirt is plain, draw a straight line as guide to make a nice straight cut. This is optional, last week I made this with a different basic shirt where I didn't shorten the length and that looks fine too. For this part I'm using elastic so I know for a fact that the top is going to hug my body. Lay out the elastic along the edge as shown, leave this much space and cut the elastic. That is a total around 75-80% of the total length of the neckline. After that you want to sew the ends of the elastic together with a zigzag stitch, which I didn't do by the way because honestly I didn't feel like doing it. Anyway, from now on we're gonna pretend I did sew the ends together of the elastic. Before you attach the elastic, pay attention to the seam allowance from your shirt. Make sure that the seam allowance is facing the same direction on uh, both sides. Find the middle point by holding the elastic like this and pin it to the shoulder seam and then pin the other side in the side seam. Then find the middle again and mark it with a pin. In my case, I stretched out the shirt and grabbed the middle with my mount because I only have two hands. Then I was able to grab it and I marked the midpoint with a pin again. After that, sew all the way around the edge with a zigzag stitch. While you're sewing, stretch out the elastic to match the length of the neckline. This is the settings that I use in case you were curious about it. Also, start sewing in the side seam due to the back stitches. It's not visible when you wear the top. It's a small detail, but you know, it needs to look that you bought it from the store. After sewing, it should look like this. Then fold the edge like so and go over it again with a zigzag stitch along the edge. You can do this in one go, of course but I do it in two steps so I have more control when I'm sewing the elastic on. Once that is sewn, you are done with the neckline. The last step is to hem the top, fold the edge like so. I did around one and a half centimeters. Sew all the way around the edge. Again with a zigzag stitch. While you're sewing, make sure not to stretch the top. That is to maintain the shape of the top. Otherwise it's gonna look all stretched out and ugly. And once you're done, you should be able to do this. So if you're gonna try the top on, you don't have to worry about that the thread is going to snap. If you want more videos like this, give the video a like and share it with the internet. Follow me on my Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, whatever you want to do. Check my other videos if you want to. Have a nice day. See you in the next video. Doodoo. -doo.